All right, it's time for me to unveil the secret model rocket project from Estes. I've had to keep silent about this for two months and I'm so excited. Are you ready to see what it is? Let's take a look. It's a Soyuz. It's a Soyuz. Soyuz rockets have been used by the Soviet and now Russian space program since the 1960s. Variations of the Soyuz rocket have been flying for so long because they're such reliable, well-designed vehicles. Soyuz models have always been a challenge for scale model rocketeers, and this is the first time Estes has ever produced one. It's a Soyuz! It's a 148th scale Soyuz rocket that flies on 29 millimeter rocket motors. Estes suggests the F-15-4 engine for 500 foot flights, and it's beautiful! Let's crack it open. All right, so let's open this up. This is very exciting. So we have some information here. We have detailed injection molded features, blow molded parts. We have highly detailed nozzles with a remo removable display nozzle. That's much like the Saturn V. One piece printed ABS plastic resin for this core stage truss. Wow, look at that. Let's take a look. Whoa, whoa, look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It is October as I'm shooting this and I need to start building because I want to try and get as close to finished as I can in time for the launch of this video. Uh, I'm not going to do a full build video for, of this rocket because there is another rocketeer who I know who I am very sure probably also has one of these as well. And if he does, he will be building it and doing a complete build project. Look at this. This is, this is amazing. This is an amazing... Look at the details on these parts. Here's the core of the rocket, cardboard tube. We've got plywood centering rings. We have a Kevlar shock cord as well as elastic. This is incredible. And then it looks like we have a clear plastic fin can. So for flying, it's not going to rely on the tiny little uh, fins that you find on the... Uh, the fuel tanks of the Soyuz, it's going to rely on a plastic fin can. That's very important. You want to make sure to fly that. Now, I have seen people who've built Soyuz models before that don't have a fin can, uh, but they have require a lot of nose weight to be stable. Wow. What's in this little box here? Let's see. Let's see what's in. Oh, this is the, uh, okay, that's that interstage truss. Wow, look at that. That's very nice. This is an incredible rocket. So you can see why back in October I said I was a little intimidated by this because it is a scale model rocket. It is a challenging build, uh, but it's beautiful. Estes has never put anything out like this before. It's going to be a great gift for the holidays. You can use my 10% off coupon at estesrockets.com. That's AWA10. That'll save you 10% off of anything that's not already on sale. You can use that coupon over and over again. And of course, I'll put a link in the description as well. Now, I want to say a thing or two about difficult models. This is a beautiful rocket, but this channel is largely aimed at beginners and scale models can be a little intimidating and a little scary. And so I want to say something about that. So I've been doing rocketry for about 11 years. And when I started, I was not a maker. I was not a builder. This isn't a hobby I picked up as a kid. I started this as an adult and I never considered myself very good at making things. So scale models, although I always wanted to do them, kind of scared me and they scare a lot of people. I've seen a lot of rocketeers go out and buy a special rocket that they see, and it might be a scale model, it might be something special that they just want to make it look really, really nice. And then they save it because they want to wait until their building skills are good enough to do it right. They want to do justice to the model, and I understand that. But what happens is they'll keep that rocket in a box for years and years and years, and then they never end up building it. Now here's the thing, I strongly believe that unless you are a museum, a model rocket in a box is good to nobody. There are some people who have old vintage collectible models in boxes and they never open those boxes, which is fine if you're the Smithsonian. But if you're not the Smithsonian, it's just a box. You're never really going to get the full experience of the rocket unless you build the rocket and probably fly the rocket. Building a complicated rocket is scary enough. Flying it once you build it is another matter. But I want to show you something. This was my first difficult rocket. This is a sort of semi-scale model of a Saturn V, 
by Dr. Zuch. It's a little one. Now it's a small model, but it was very complicated to build. I was afraid to do a bad job. So I kept this in a box for several years. Finally, I decided, you know what? If I don't try, I'll never build it. So I did. I followed the instructions. I was very careful and it came out looking great. Some of the difficult parts were making these nozzles. These are made out of paper cones that I had to roll by hand. And then the details are little thread that I had to glue on. That was kind of tricky. All these little details here were bits of toothpick, I think, and I had to sand them to the proper shape and glue them on. This was a tricky one to build, but I built it and I flew it. It flew all right. This one's a little bit wobbly, but the thing is people look at this and they go, oh, that's perfect. Well, it's not perfect. I see the flaws because I built it, but other people aren't going to see the flaws. The fact of the matter is I made mistakes when building this rocket, but I learned a lot from it. And if I hadn't built it, I wouldn't have it on the shelf and I wouldn't be able to show you. Let me show you another one. This is one that I got and I was hoping to build it in time for the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. This is the Estes Saturn V and it's a much more complicated, detailed rocket. It took me a long time and I was frankly afraid to do it wrong and that's why I kept it in the box for a long time. As a matter of fact, it's why I bought several of them in case I screwed one up, I could build another one. But I didn't want to screw this one up. I took my time and I built it and you know what? It looks great. Now, some people have seen this and said, well, that's a shelf queen. A shelf queen is a rocket that is so nicely built, you're afraid to fly it because you don't want to damage it. I have flown this rocket. It flew really well, surprisingly well. These Saturn V's tend to get a little wobbly, but I must have done something right because it was straight as an arrow. It was a beautiful flight. Unfortunately, I didn't record it. I just wanted to watch it. So I'm going to have to fly it and film it for the channel at some point. People have looked at this rocket that I built and said, that's perfect. And it's not. There are all kinds of flaws I'm seeing in this rocket. Now, both of these rockets, plus several others, are ones that I was afraid to build when I first got them because I wanted to do them right. And if I'd kept that way of thinking, I would have continued on hoping that someday I had the skill to build the rocket right. And eventually, I just decided I won't build it if I don't try. So I did. Did I make some mistakes? Sure. Can other people tell? No. Am I glad I built that? You bet. Now, I'm a little scared of this Soyuz, but you know what? I'm going to build it. I probably won't film the entire thing for this channel because I've noticed that when I film myself building for the channel, I tend to make mistakes. All right. Well, this is real exciting. Um, I hope you're excited about this Soyuz rocket. Uh, you might be a newbie to building, but if this Soyuz is something that appeals to you, don't be afraid of it. All right. That's it for this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And as always, build well, fly safe, and I'll catch you next time.